Have you ever worried that someone might be checking your phone without you knowing? What if your device could quietly keep track of those actions and let you know if anything suspicious happened? That idea might soon become reality with Samsung's next major software update, One UI 8, which is likely to come with some powerful privacy features that could give users more control than ever before. Even though Samsung is still in the process of delivering One UI 7, which is built on Android 15, it seems the company is already moving fast toward One UI 8. This next version will be based on Android 16, and early information hints that it might introduce a smart new feature focused on detecting unusual activity. Something that could give you a clear log of everything that happens when you're not using your phone. The news comes from a recent teardown of a beta version of Google Play services found in Android 16. Experts looked into the app's code and found clues about a system that could keep a record of various device interactions. While it's not confirmed by Google or Samsung yet, this feature is being referred to as intrusion detection, and it could mark a big step forward for smartphone privacy. This tool would quietly keep an eye on things like when a USB cable is connected to your phone, when someone turns on Bluetooth or Wi-Fi, or when an app gets installed without your permission. It could even note when your lock screen is triggered or when browsing history changes. All of these actions could point to someone trying to snoop through your phone. What makes this feature even more promising is that all the data it records would be protected through end-to-end -end encryption. These logs would be stored in your private Google Drive account, secured by both your device lock screen and Google account password. This means no one else, even Google, would be able to access this information unless they could unlock your phone and account. It's a big move for people who care about their privacy. Think about leaving your phone on a desk or charging it in public. If someone tried to mess with it while you were away, you'd have a way to see exactly what they did. Even if nothing happened, just knowing your phone has a way to tell you would give a lot of peace of mind. To be clear, this intrusion detection system is still under testing. It's part of Android 16, and Samsung hasn't officially confirmed whether it will be included in One UI 8. But Samsung usually builds on Google's core Android features, adding their own version to improve the user experience. So there's a good chance this privacy tool could become part of their upcoming software later this year. If that happens, it might show up first on the next foldable phones, likely the Galaxy Z Fold 7 and Galaxy Z Flip 7, which are expected to launch in the summer of 2025. A leaked version of One UI 8 has already surfaced, but it only reveals small changes for now. The bigger updates, like this new security feature, will probably be saved for the official announcement. Security and privacy have become major priorities for tech companies recently. With more people depending on their phones for sensitive tasks, like banking, storing passwords, and private messages, it makes sense that users want better tools to protect themselves. This kind of tracking system wouldn't just alert you if something strange happens, it could also help you take action faster and understand exactly what occurred. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Before it can go out to carrier locked models, that extra step can slow things down by days or sometimes weeks. Unfortunately, Samsung hasn't given a firm timeline for when these locked devices will get the update in the US. So if your phone hasn't received it yet, don't worry, it just hasn't reached your version of the phone yet. Android 15 has been around for a while. Google started testing it in early 2024 and released the stable version in October last year. Since then, Samsung users have been looking forward to getting their own version through One UI 7. The Galaxy S24 lineup launched earlier this year. So many people assumed they'd get the update sooner. But even though it's arriving a little later than some hoped, it still brings plenty of value. With One UI 7, Samsung has improved how fast things run, refreshed the look of some menus, added more controls for privacy, and worked on battery performance. That makes the update a solid one, even if it's coming just months before rumors of One UI 8 start heating up. If you don't have a Galaxy S24, don't worry, your turn might be next. Samsung has already shared its plan to bring One UI 7 to more phones and tablets. By the end of this month, the update is expected to hit the Galaxy Z Fold 5 and Z Flip 5. Then, it'll roll out to the Galaxy S23, S23 Plus, and S23 Ultra. The Galaxy Tab S10 Plus and Tab S10 Ultra are also on the list. Moving ahead to May, Samsung will be sending the update to older devices like the Galaxy Z Fold 4 and Z Flip 4, as well as the Galaxy S23 FE and the Tab S9 lineup.
Even the Z Fold 3 and Z Flip 3 are expected to get one UI 7 next month. Some mid-range and budget devices will also be included, although Samsung hasn't listed all of them just yet. One thing to keep in mind is that these dates could shift. If Samsung finds any bugs during testing or needs more time, the rollout could be pushed back. That happens pretty often with big updates like this, but the good news is it's coming. So if you're using an unlocked Galaxy S24 model, you should be seeing the update soon. And if your phone is locked to a carrier, just hang in there a little longer. Everyone will get it eventually, it's just a matter of when. Thanks for tuning in. If your phone has already received the One UI 7 update, drop a comment below and let us know how it's running. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more updates on Samsung phones and other tech news. Samsung is stepping up its game in the mid-range smartphone market with the introduction of the Galaxy A36 and A56. These new models bring several upgrades, particularly in the camera department. One of the biggest highlights is that they are the first Samsung mid-range phones to support 10-bit HDR video recording, a feature previously exclusive to flagship devices. This means users can now capture videos with richer colors and a wider dynamic range, making them look more professional. The front camera on both phones features a 12-megapixel sensor with an f2.0 aperture, allowing more light to enter the lens. This improves low-light photography and enhances selfie quality. The most notable change is that these front cameras now support 4K video recording at 30 frames per second in 10-bit HDR, a significant step up from the previous Galaxy A35 and A55 models, which were limited to 8-bit recording. This upgrade results in better detail, improved color accuracy, and an overall smoother video experience. On the back, both the Galaxy A36 and A56 come with a 50 megapixel primary camera equipped with optical image stabilization, OAS, and phase detection autofocus, PDF. These features help reduce motion blur and ensure sharper images even in unsteady hands. The A36 includes an 8 megapixel ultrawide camera, while the A56 offers a slightly better 12 megapixel ultrawide lens, giving users more flexibility when capturing wide angle shots. Both models also come with a 5 megapixel macro camera, which is useful for close up shots, though some users might prefer a zoom lens instead. Samsung is clearly aiming to bring premium features to its mid range lineup, but one feature is still missing minus 4K video recording at 60 frames per second. While the current video quality is a major improvement, adding this capability in future models could help Samsung compete even more effectively with brands like OnePlus and Motorola. However, not all changes may be welcomed by users. One significant difference in these new models is the removal of the micro SD card slot. This means storage expansion is no longer an option and users must rely solely on the built-in storage. The Galaxy A36 and A56 come in two options, 128 gigabytes and 256 gigabytes. While this may be enough for many people, those who store a lot of media might find it limiting. Samsung does offer the Galaxy A26, which still includes a micro SD card slot and supports up to 2 TB of expandable storage, making it a viable alternative for users who prioritize storage flexibility. On the software front, these new devices launch with Android 15 and Samsung's latest One UI 7.0. This version introduces new features, such as the Now Bar, customizable quick panel, a vertical app drawer, and an improved camera interface. Another notable addition is Google's Circle to Search feature which is part of the broader Galaxy AI experience. Users can also take advantage of intelligent tools like Object Eraser, though it's unclear if they function as C